Hello, BookTube, and hello, AuthorTube, because this is kind of a both video. <clears throat> I don't know if you could hear it, but right as I sat down to do this, I was about to hit record, and then I heard sirens, and I swear I it sounded like they were just going in a circle around my block, and, like, I've been sitting here for, like, five minutes, like... And if I only would have waited 30 more seconds, I would have been fine. Too damn impatient. So anyway, um, I wanted to kind of share with all of y'all um, kind of what I'm doing um, creatively at the minute. Um, as some of you know, like I do the zines and I write books and um, stuff like that. But a lot of... Um, the stuff I've written was originally released in a serialized format. Um, not to the extent that I will be sharing with you, but um, it was released in a weekly serialized format. And um, that did very well. <clears throat> um, since... I have, I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but um, let me explain what I'm doing. How's that? Um, basically, I'm taking all of my works and um, I'm serializing them on my blog website thing. And I'm setting it up so every day there is something new to read and hopefully get addicted to. So, for instance, on Monday, I have um, Love and Hate, which I originally released on um, my old CC Wall website, which is now gone. Um, but that, if you like soap operas, if you like... Um, hospital dramas, um, family intrigue, and stuff like that, um, this is for you, definitely. Um, it has a huge cast that is brought in and up and whatever as it goes on, um, <clears throat> and it's really short, like the parts are really short, so it's, um, quick reads, and, um, with a big story. Um, the next thing is Black Star Canyon, which I'm sure you've heard me bang on about a hundred times, but here's the first um, Black Star Canyon book when we put it out, and it was the first season because we released them as episodes. Um, now the book looks like this. Hang on. That's the cover of it now um, on Amazon. It's like the red phone. And all the books in the series have the same color scheme going. <clears throat> um, and Black Star Canyon, if you don't know, is a small town called Black Star Canyon where this murder takes place. And as the detectives working the case are kind of uncovering stuff, they're learning a lot about the town's secrets. <clears throat> and um, a lot of those secrets, like, people would do anything to keep quiet. So if you're a fan of Twin Peaks, if you're a fan of Northern Exposure or American Gothic or um, maybe even like X-Files or The Prisoner because it is, it has some unexplainable things going on. But again, it's a huge cast and um, I did five novels of it and 
I'm just releasing like weekly chapters of it. So on Monday is Black Star Canyon and Love and Hate. On Tuesday, that's like my more pulp, pulpy um, stuff there. That is um, the gavel, um, which is like a total like hero pulp kind of thing. Um, on here, um, this is where I changed the title of it. Instead of having it be like the gavel one, the gavel two, the gavel three, um, I changed the name of the first book to Fight Night. Um, it takes place in a fictional town called Angel City, um, in the 1940s. And it's about this, um assistant district attorney who's been trying for a very long time to pull down this um, mob ring in Angel City. And every time something goes to court or goes to trial, there's someone somewhere who makes his case just like fall apart. And he's really, really pissed off. He thinks that the city is in cahoots with the mob and city hall is just as bad as the mob guys. And so he decides to go all vigilante on him and, um, like conceal his identity and go after him. <clears throat> and, um, I've written three of those and, um, so those are going to be um, on Tuesday with Hitman Black, which is like an action adventure thing. Um, it I it will eventually be like a more of just like a action espionage thriller kind of thing. But I got to get through this big story first. Um, and it's, it opens up with, um, a guy who wakes up, doesn't really know much of who he is or where he's at. He wakes up in a bar and, um, he wakes up getting the shit kicked out of him by this guy. And, um, within the first chapter realizes that he's wanted and there's a lot of people out looking for him kind of thing. So, um... Good times, good fun. So that's on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is going to be kind of the horror-ish day. So I have The Brain Thief, which is about... Um, where's that on here? Oh, here we go. This is the newer cover of it. It's all Stranger Things looking. Come on, anytime you're ready. Um, right there, The Brain Thief. Um, <clears throat> it's about this doctor who is like a professor at the university and he's working on this, um, cure for something, which you don't know yet. And, um, as he's doing all this stuff, we find out in the first chapter that, um, not only is he this guy, but he's also the serial killer that's going around, um, killing a bunch of fuckers and, um, the police have named the killer, the brain thief, because he, um, cracks people's skulls open and removes the brain, um, and basically leaves the body like that. Um, so this is part science fiction, part horror, part police procedural, um, I did four books of this, um, and we'll be going through them weekly with that. Um, so if you like, um, body horror, um, grody, grodiness, um, definitely that is something for you. Um, the other one for that day is um, Black Market Blood Drive, which is 
uh, right here. And again, if you'd rather just read the whole thing at once, you could get them on Amazon if you wanted to. But um, why not just read it and see if you like it first? So Black Market Blood Drive is a vampire story, but it's more of a um, Southern California um, gangland story um, where the gangs just happen to be vampires and the rival clans or whatnot. Um, and this human gets kind of caught up in the middle of it um, and ends up working for one of the clans um, in this bar. And basically, um, to keep all of their shit quiet, they um, deal blood like um, people would deal drugs. And it's all on the down low, but um, something's wrong, and um, a lot of vampires are dying from uh, the blood. And it's kind of like if you ever played um, Vampire the Masquerade, it's very much along those lines. Um, but there's a lot of sex and violence and stuff like that in it. So if you like that kind of stuff. <clears throat> then on Thursday, we have... Um, shit, where was I? Uh, what was I on? Oh, I was like here, huh? Anyway, um, that's taking too long. Um, on Thursday, I have more of the bizarre kind of stuff. Um, the Shallow Shallow books the they are like murder mysteries that are based on 70s 60s and 70s italian giallo films that are parodies of those and um very outrageous ridiculous um in the violence and sex categories um and, like, the first case, it's had, this book has been called so many different things. It was originally released as The Girl with the Crystal Pubis. Then it was released as Crystal, and now it's Case of the Crystal Pubis or something like that. Whatever. Um, it's a funny story. And also, um, Panic, which is the, um, like, my super high anxiety, um, OCD dysfunction stories. Um, so like there's one about a guy who, whenever he gets scared, he realizes he's wrapped in raw bacon and stuff like that. So, um, if that's something that floats your boat, that's Thursday. And then Friday is Hank Bradshaw. So like, um, all the dead dame books and, um, maniac blood, which is a newer thing I was doing, which is about a guy who's in a mental hospital who, um, Came, went to the mental hospital after the war, and it doesn't say which war, um, but he was like a assassin-type character. And um, every once in a while, like, he can't live in normal society. He's, like, batshit crazy. But every once in a while, the government will come to him and ask him to do a mission because he's the most qualified to do it. And, um, it's told from his perspective, so it's definitely, like, the narrator is, like, confused and kind of unreliable, but just, like, everything is, like, new to him every time anything happens, and, um, it's, it's fun. I really enjoy it, but, um, so that's called Maniac Blood, and, um... So that's on Friday. And then Saturday is going to be like my super genre 
day. So like I have um, a Western series I'm doing. I have a fantasy series I'm doing and a sci-fi series, actually two sci-fi series I'm doing. So those would be um, put on Saturday and then on Sunday is short stories just like random short stories because I have a million of those too. So anyway, um, if you're interested in taking a look at any of those, um, the first week is almost done. Um, it's at goldmetalfaucet.com, like a faucet you turn on. That is my blog, and it's actually in the down bar thing. Um, but yeah, so... Um, I'm writing a lot and putting a lot through and Steve Donahue mentioned me on this week in booktube. I finally made the this week in booktube list. Holy crap about, um, me writing the new Hank Bradshaw book, um, with you guys. And because this week and last week were so weird, um, I haven't gone back to it. My daughter's been sick all week, so I've been with her more um but this week coming up i'm getting back into it so um hopefully someone is enjoying something so um let me know what you think and um i hope you enjoy these cereals because i like things serialized so 